Alright, so what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode on the prep series. It's Wednesday the 28th of June. We're exactly 10 and a half weeks out from show. Today is my very low calorie day. We've got 1,980 calories to hit. This is my lowest point. This is also my no carb day. So throughout the whole day, there's no carbohydrates. So as always, my breakfast is the same, but I'm going to show you guys quickly. I've got my onions and mushrooms, which already cooked. I leave them on for about 5 to 10 minutes. And I've got my eggs. So we've got 7 egg whites and two whole eggs and that is my breakfast now while that's cooking up I'm going to show you guys my morning health tablets and vitamins that I like to take just to keep the inside healthy so I've got glucosamine sulfate we've got some vitamin D I've got magnesium vitamin B complex omega-3 fish oils some multivitamins and iron CLA L-carnitine and two tablets of the vitamin C to help support my immune system. Now I'll pretty much take one of each tablet every single morning other than the Omega Freeze which I'll take two in the morning and then two before bed just to help with inflammation and also magnesium at the moment. I've been taking two extra tablets just before I go to bed because it's helping me get a night, good night's sleep and that is pretty much it. So it's all about not just keeping the outside healthy, it's all about keeping your inside healthy as well. So those are my health tablets and supplements that I like to take every single morning. That's my breakfast. Today I don't have much planned this morning, I've got all work to do with my online coaching so it's just going to be that all this morning but later on today we've got a push workout, we've got chest, triceps and shoulders, also I've got some more posing practice, now if you guys are new to the channel, my posing coach at the moment is a retired IFBB pro legend, I've been working with her for about three to four weeks now I've known her for a very long time she's a friend of the families and it's just great to have her on board you know she's got of course you'll know some amazing experience being an IFBB pro she's worked with some of the best she stepped on stage with some of the best she's worked with people like Dorian Yates Kevin Roney um, there's so many people that the list goes on endless that she told me so to have her on board to help me with my posing is really really a blessing and I, I love working with her she shows me some things that you know other coaches and other people just wouldn't know about so I'll be with her later on I'll take you guys with me to show you a bit of my posing routine and also a bit of a physique update see how we're looking at ten and a half weeks out I'm really happy with how things are going if you guys haven't seen the previous video go check it out but I am a little update on that front I'm feeling a lot better since that video not as shaky as I was then um, if anything I've just got a slight little headache the last couple days but it, I've been told by my coach it can last up to two to three days but like I said if you don't know what's going on go check out the previous video you'll find out what's going on I'll leave the link in the description but yeah I'm feeling a lot better today even though today's a no carb day and it's my lowest calorie day I always seem like I wake up with enough energy I think the magnesium tablets have been helping get me a good night's sleep like sleep is a massive part of prep you can wake up in two different ways depending on your sleep now if you're having broken sleep and you're not getting a good solid three to four hours sleep you can wake up feeling you know fatigued tired hold on to a lot of water stress levels your cortisol levels have arisen if you get a nice good solid four to five no, non-broken sleep you can wake up so much different now it's, it's it's crazy how the body works and how much things can change just by getting some good night's sleep so make sure when you're in prep you're dying or just in general when you're training make sure you get some good solid sleep and don't have any broken sleep like I said last night I probably got about four to five maybe good solid hours sleep without being woken up for any reason so the magnesium tablets are really happy uh, helping I'm woken up, I'm feeling re uh, refreshed, I'm feeling energised, I'm ready to go. So that's pretty much it for today's video. I'm going to show you guys all my meals. Also, I said on my Snapchat, I'm going to do another Q&A video at some point in this video. So hopefully that will go back to plan. I've only just uploaded the picture onto my Snapchat. So if I get a good response at some point in this video, I'll answer some questions. So catch you guys on meal number two. Alright guys, so just wrapped up with all my online client work, I'm now about to get meal number two in. I'm also going to show you guys a few other meals that i prepared because I'm going out to do my training. I've got coaching and also some more work this evening. So I want to make sure I've got all my meals throughout the day so I'm not hungry and I don't miss out on any of my meals. So next couple meals I've got prepared. Meal number two, which I'm about to get in now, I've got some broccoli and I've got 250 grams of chicken. Later on I've got meal number three, which is going to be some green beans 
and two tins of tuna. This will also be my post-workout meal. And this here, my favorite meal. Now yesterday on my Snapchat, I said I was gonna show you guys meal number three because this meal is really dense in volume. It's really macro friendly and it's really good to use if you're dieting. It just really helps fill you out and makes you feel fuller for longer. So this meal, nice salad, something different from the veg. I've gone for some lettuce. Onions, some peppers, cucumber, it's really you know dense in volume, there's a lot of food in there and also I've got 250 grams of chicken, now what I do is I'll normally chuck some of that in there and mix it up together or I might eat that and then eat that separate depending how I feel, but that's the next couple meals I've got throughout the day and these are the seasonings that I use to show you guys. I've got my Himalayan pink salt. Now I'll have this on every single meal and I keep that consistent through every single day. I've got some black pepper. I've got some ground turmeric, which you can see on the chicken. That's why it's all yellow, because I season it in there. And I recommend everyone has this in there because it's a great anti-inflammatory. So ground turmeric. And every now and then, I'll have some seasoning with the medium peri-peri sauce. This is really good in macros, but I'll only have it here and there, not so much, because at the end of the day, it all does add up with calories. So that's pretty much it for my next couple of meals. Now, if you guys are wondering how do you always keep prepared, how do you always, you know, have your meals ready. I always like to cook and bulk in advance. So as you can see there, I've got all my chicken, which we're gonna probably do me for the next couple of days. I'll probably chop up some more salad to put into a bowl. That way I can just chuck it straight in, chuck in my chicken, there's another meal done. And also right now, I'm cooking up some other mince. So I've got some extra lean mince beef there and some broccoli. So whenever you have spare time, I know I'm a bit more blessed and have more of an advantage with my work because I work at home and I do personal training so my hours are not like a nine to five job. But when I have those spare few minutes, half hour or an hour, whatever it is, this is the time that I'll take to bulk up on my food, I'll stock it all up, that way I'm always prepared so if anything happens, like a last minute thing, I can just chuck all my meals into my Tupperware, go out and do what I've got to do and have my meal still with me. So make sure you do prepare, even if you've got 10 minutes, you know, you can do something in that 10 minutes, you can cook up some like mince, you can cook up your broccoli, you could probably even do some sweet potatoes or rice within 10 to 15 minutes. So whenever you've got a spare time, make sure you just cook up some meals in bulk, leave it in your fridge and that way you're always going to, you know, be ahead of the schedule and you're always never gonna fail on your meal. So that's what I like to do. That's my next couple of meals. I'm about to go and eat my meal number two and then I'm up to the gym in the next 45 minutes to an hour to train and then we've got posing practice. So I'll catch you guys in a little bit.
exercise I do I don't want to show you guys like nothing too heavy or too dramatic with heavy weights and things like that the idea is just to show you each exercise that I'm doing if you want to find out the exact reps and everything I do in my training program like I always say go follow me on my snapchat I uh, screenshot everything I post it on there and I break everything down with my reps my sets my rest in between sets the weights that I'm working with but on here, I just want to keep it short for you guys and show you one clip of each exercise. But anyway, as you can tell, I'm out of breath. I'm just about to go do my post cardio, 35 minutes on the Stairmaster. Then we're going to be going up to do my posing practice for about an hour and a half. I'll show you guys a few clips and also a little bit of a physique update. And then after that, I've got my client and then we're going to head back home. Obviously, you see my next two meals that I've got throughout the day. But when we get back home, I'll show you my last two meals and then we'll go from there. So yeah, that was today's workout. Feeling really good. A crazy pump today. Really crazy pump. Bearing in mind, I've had no carbs today. I'm feeling really good, really energized. But yeah, that's pretty much that. I'll catch you guys upstairs in the studio for some posing. See you there.
So we're back at home now, as you saw there, a bit of my posing routine. Now, I didn't want to show too much, reason being is I want to kind of keep my routine secret, and then on the day, I'm going to do, obviously, a vlog of the whole show day, and you guys will see the whole full routine there, but I'll show you guys a few little clips of what the routine is, and also what my conditioning is looking like. I'm really happy with how the, uh, the routine is going. We've completed it now. It's all about just polishing it up and getting it all perfect so I'm really happy with how things are but I'm back at home now I'm about to get my next meal of the day and it's pretty simple as always I've got two tins of tuna again and I've got some broccoli and that is pretty much it but I did say I was going to answer some questions from my snapchat Q&A so I'm going to quickly do them I also said I want to keep them kind of quick short answers I don't want it to be too long so we're going to get straight into it now the first question um, I can't see who the name it was from, but the question is, how much caffeine a day is classed as healthy and how much caffeine is classed as too much? I think this is from Courtney Brown. Now, I would say, I recommend a pre-workout needs to be around about 250 milligrams. I think 250 milligrams of caffeine in a pre-workout is perfect. I think Stimimax is the perfect one that you need. I'm not trying to be biased, but Stimimax has 250 milligrams of um, stimulants in it, and I think that's just the perfect amount. With the Monster as well, I wouldn't say you know, you're know you going too far. Anything over 300 milligrams of stimulants or caffeine and other stuff with coffees and extra things like that, then I think it's too much, you're just gonna burn out on your central uh, nervous system. Pretty much, just keep it to about 250 milligrams, 300 at the max, and try and limit your other caffeine intake throughout the day. This question is from Angel, also a client of mine, how to improve lagging body parts. Now the best answer for that is if you have a weak lagging body part, focus on that first. Now for example, somebody that has underdeveloped um, calves, they'll always leave their calves to the last exercise. Now use it at the start. This is where you've got most of your energy, you're mostly focused, you're more motivated to get into your training session. This is the prime time to focus on your lagging body part. So whatever it is your lagging body part is, do that as your first exercise because you can put a lot more focus and tension, energy into that lagging body part. Next question is from Ben Dean 1989 What would you say is better to run your trend higher than your test or the other way around? I've heard good things about both. Now this is a bit of a subjective question. It depends on what you're doing. Ideally if you're bulking I would always have the trend higher than the test. If you're cruising I wouldn't really bother with the trend I'll just keep the testing but it's kind of a bit of a subjective question. The next question is from Connor McCann and his is, what item of food do you crave the most? You can only choose one, for example, a mushroom or chocolate. Now, the one piece of food I crave the most, if I said one food, it would have to be a burger. A burger on its own is the one meal that I crave right now. All right, so my next question is the video one from Howard Cooper. Of course, buddy. With me, I'm a firm believer in giving yourself something to look forward to. So I didn't know if you had cheekily pre-planned your post-contest meal. So have I pre-planned my post-contest meal? Funny enough, I have, and again, it kind of goes to that other answer I had. It's a Five Guys. I haven't had a Five Guys, and they've recently opened a Five Guys in a place local to me. So as soon as I finish up with my competition, I'm going straight over to Five Guys to get myself a burger and chips. All right, so my last question to round it up is from Kiss Cassie 10 Would you dip chips in a milkshake? Now, this is a friend of mine. And I think dipping chips in a milkshake is absolutely disgusting. She does it, I think it's completely rank. Would I do it? The answer is obviously no. Even though half me's thinking I would like to give it a try, but the thought of it, the sound of it, nah, I wouldn't dip my chips into milkshake. Let me know if you guys, who would dip their uh, chips into a milkshake? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for sending in your questions. Hope that answered all your questions out there. And also, if you want to see this more, let me know in the comments below and I'll do more Snapchat Q&As, Instagram Q&As, or just do a whole YouTube video on just 
questions and answers where I, you know, I'll answer your questions. So if you want to see that more, let me know in the comments below. But I'm about to get in my next meal and I'll show, see you guys on my last meal tonight. So see you in a bit. Alright guys, so I'm just about to get in meal number 6 of the night and also my last meal of tonight and I always like to finish it the way I start it with some eggs because I love it, it's just the way I am. So I've got myself 6 egg whites and 4 whole eggs, there's no mushrooms or onions left in the house so it's just eggs on its own and that is pretty much it. So you guys get to see another look into the prep series and everything that goes on. There's still a load of content coming for you guys. The next video I'll be down at a different gym at Metro Flex which is my old home school gym we'll be training legs down there so make sure you check out for that one and also today i booked in some deep tissue massages for next week so make sure you look out for that i'll take you guys in there you can see my massages that i have and we go a little bit more in depth on what's going on and why we're doing it releasing some soft tissue and you know just giving you guys everything that goes on in my prep series and if there's anything else you want to see in regards to my prep or just prep in general leave a comment down below and i'll make sure i add it into the next video other than that guys make sure you smash that like button always thanks for watching and all the support and um i'll see you on the next one stay safe make it happen peace